Hello, so in the last tutorial we saw how to create a basic example of a web application using our gamepad. So now we're going to continue with more advanced uh, stuff like getting the pointer. So what is the pointer? So we are going to point with our phone to the screen and we are going to get the point where we are we are pointing. So we can use it like uh, to control a mouse for example or uh, uh, an aim of a gun or or a bow uh, like anything to click and um, point and click basically so let's begin so we're going to run our arcane pad application first okay we go to settings developer menu here we are going to run our uh, web app okay now we press play and it should be working in both places. Let's see. I'm going to open our arcane pad on our phones as well. Perfect. So now we are going to um, to create a pointer. So um, we're going to our player component, and we are going to um, to add a button. This button is going to be a uh, start get pointer. And on click we are going to say path.start get pointer. On mount we are going to add an, uh, an event listener path.on get pointer. And we are getting here uh, we are going to type this event uh, is a get pointer event. This is a default, so it's going to give us the x and the y. So uh, at the moment we are just going to log the the pointer data. So let's do that. Uh, pointer data. We're going to create a ref for this pointer data equals to ref of x 0 y 0 okay that's great so the, the last thing we need to do is uh, assign this data pointer data dot values equals to x y so when we are getting this value we are setting it to pointer data so target pointer and as you can see we are getting the pointer it's 85 and 1 oh we need to add a stop so stop get pointer on click and we're going to change the text stop get pointer so now we can stop it so um, I don't like that there is so many decimals so I'm going to make a to fix text dot to fix and for y we're going to do the same so as you can see now we get 87 to and if we move our phone it's changing so to the top left is the zero zero point and to the bottom right is the 100 100 in theory so we need to calibrate this to know where the phone is pointing we need to tell it where is the top left of our screen and the bottom right so to do that we are going to add to the uh, to the player uh, to the sorry the pad, the pad page uh, to our pad, to our game pad, we are going to add um, a calibration button. So, Q button, add click, we are going to say arcane dot pad dot calibrate, calibrate pointer. And it's top left, true, this is calibrate pointer top left and one for bottom right in this case we set the is top left to false and 
we change the text, bottom right. And as you can see, now I'm going to use my phone. Uh, okay, I forgot the these buttons. I'm going to put them a little bit more ordered. One second. Okay, that's better now. So now with these buttons, as you can see, we have the the pointer here. So we are going to calibrate it. So we are going to say this is the top left of my screen. As you can see, now we are on the zero zero, and the bottom right, as you can see, is one hundred twenty. Right now, we are going to set this is the the one hundred one hundred. So now we have our screen mapped. It's as simple as this. We're going to do the same with the other. So we are going to do this target pointer. As you can see, it is calibrated. So we are going to say calibrate top left here and bottom right here. And now we just have the, the entire screen map. So let's do something crazier with this. Let's um, create uh, a div. Sorry, on the player component, we are going to create a div that is going to have a style uh, white 10 pixels, height 10 pixels, border radius 100 pixels, and border one pix um, 5 pixels solid red, say. So here we have, well, a little bit less, 2 pixels. So, and instead of this color, I want the color of the player. Well, never mind, at the, mo at the moment this is okay. So. We are going to set the position of this with our pointer. How do we do this? So the position is going to be absolute. And now we're going to set um, style equals to um, left. Uh, let me do a test first. So if we say left 10%, this is going to work. Yeah, this is working. So left now is going to be x percent uh, pointer data dot x percent and uh, let's see if this is already working. As you can see, this is already working. We can point, we can move it on the left, and now we're going to do the same for the uh, the y axis. So uh, top. Um, pointer dot y percentage and as you can see we already have our pointer working we can calibrate it and everything and let's do the same with this uh, so it should be okay this is super far away that's why I, we are not seeing it I needed to recalibrate so as you can see, we have the two pointers now, and they are working just fine. So that's pretty cool, and it's even <laughs> triggering the overflow. That's that's super fun. Uh, I mean, it's like crazy. I didn't expect that to happen. So I can make it go full screen, and I'm going to show you here. So now we have it working. So as you can see, here is one and the other we're going to calibrate first and this is working perfectly the only thing you need to keep in mind is that if i move it's not recalibrating so you need to recalibrate like if um typically when you play a video game you don't move so that's perfectly fine but if you change the position enough you will need to recalibrate this so um Let's continue now. I'm going to show you another trick. So we are going to uh, get the the Euler and the and the quaternion rotation. So that is to know how it is rotating this. Um, that's pretty simple. It's, it's actually the same process. So um, instead of start get pointer and start get get pointer, you will do start get Euler or get get quaternion or get Euler. And you're going to get uh, uh, here. You say uh, on get 
quaternion or or get point or get on or on get Euler sorry and uh, the get Euler or get quaternion event and you get the params here so um that's pretty much it if you want to use a quaternion you typically need like a, a 3d graphics library uh, or you need a way to convert those um, that, that data to an Euler that's why I provide Euler but Euler is having a problem when you arrive to to the center you're having the gimbal log that is a, like a mathematical problem that's or well I don't know so that that's uh, tricky but let, let's do it so I can show you a little bit so let's see I'm going to create another div here I'm going to just duplicate these two and for this example we are going to use Euler only uh, start get Euler and stop stop get Euler here we are going to listen on get Euler we change these params get a rotation Euler event Asimut, pitch and roll. These are the standard names and we're going to set uh, Euler data Asimut, pitch and roll we are going to set them here Euler data dot value equals to Asimut, pitch and roll and uh, yeah now let's show it on the screen Euler data so start again the Euler let's do it Okay, why is this not working? Let's restart the application. Okay, now it's working. We need to just restart the application. So as you can see, um, this is the azimuth when we are moving. It's rotating here, and this is the this is the pitch, and this is the roll. So we could do stuff, but when you get to to uh, 90 degrees or in some cases to 180 depending on uh, if it is azimuth I think it's 180 let's see yeah it's, it goes from 180 to minus 180 so you need to handle that and on pitch it just goes to 90 and then to minus 90 two times so yeah it's going to be imprecise like when you put it on this position it's going to be imprecise uh, because it's going to switch from 90 to minus 90 so that's why quaternions solve this problem but they are more complex to use and usually you need a um, graphics library 3d graphics library or something i'm sure you can figure out how to use uh, them but well it requires time so so yeah for simple stuff this is enough like um, to detect rotations and um, and degrees so so now we are going to calibrate them. Uh, we are going to calibrate also. Um, let's see. Calibrate. Oh, okay. Calibrate is only we have for the quaternion, but this is going to affect the Euler as well. Uh, I think. Calibrate Euler. So now this is, for example, at a 90 azimuth and eight minus 80 pitch, and if we click on uh, oh, where it is the button? Actually, it should be on the on the path page. Sorry. So okay, perfect. Now, so now if we click calibrate, yeah, no, it is not changing. So 
Yeah, I think the Eulers are not affected by the Calibrate uh, Quaternion. So they are just... Yeah, I, I didn't remember this part of the <laughs> of the library, sorry guys. But yeah, we, we could do the same with with the Quaternion. Calibrate Quaternion, this is more interesting, so... Um, Quaternion data X Y C W Start get quaternion stop get quaternion And here we're going to listen to the quaternion on get quaternion. We're going to get uh, the get quaternion event. Quaternion data going to be this w x y and c and this should do the job so let's restart our application okay let's see so there is something okay there is an error somewhere oh w zero by the way if you need to to see the logs press ctrl shift i and it's going to open the dev tools and you can you can see the logs if there are any errors so let's start our application it should work now perfect and uh, let's start get quaternion as you can see we are getting our quaternion and usually we will put our phone uh, standing like this like uh, parallel to our f uh, screen and we just click on Calibrate Quaternion and as you can see the values got changed actually I'm trying to figure out how it is getting changed yeah it doesn't seem like it is getting changed but I'm sure I mean this works because I'm using it on a lot of apps and games it's just that maybe we are doing something wrong here let me check uh, got a record there neon Oh, it's just that maybe we are using the wrong, the wrong phone. Yeah, we, we were using the wrong phone. There are two phones, and I was using the wrong one. So now it's going to change, and as you can see, it did change. And yeah, we will do this and ask our user put your phone parallel to your screen and calibrate. And now we know like the sword is it was on this position. Now we can use the quaternion. We can offset the sword or the baseball bat or the gun or whatever we want to um, use as an object in our games. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you find it useful. Um, as always, if you have any problems uh, with the library, please reach, reach to me on our Discord channel. I'll be glad to help you um, getting done your applications. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.